Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And I am here today with a quick and easy recipe for caramel apple cookies. You just need a few simple ingredients to get started. You're going to need some sugar cookie mix, some caramel bits, an egg and butter, some instant apple cider drink mix, some dried apples, not the freeze dried apples, just regular dried apple slices, and some cinnamon. So if you wanna see how this easy recipe comes together, stay tuned. So I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. In this bowl, I have the sugar cookie mix. To it, I'm going to add my cinnamon and my apple cider drink mix. And I'll make sure to leave the um, recipe in the description box so that you guys will have the exact measurements. And I'm just gonna give this a quick stir. And next I'm going to add my egg. And by the way, my egg and butter um, are at room temperature. So I've got my egg in there. I'm gonna add my butter next. and I'm just gonna use my hand mixer and mix it up. Okay, so your mixture is gonna look crumbly, but you should be able to press it together with your fingers, just like that, all right? So now I'm going to add in my dried apple. And as you can see, I chopped it up. The easiest way that I have found to chop up the dried apples is with my kitchen shears. Um, I've tried it with knives before and it just doesn't work as well. So I just use my kitchen shears. I haven't tried the food processor because I'm afraid that the apples may stick to the blade, but it may work. So give it a try if you'd like. So I've got my apples in there and then I've got my caramel bits. And just gonna use this, my little spatula here, and mix it up. And here is what it looks like. So I have my cookie sheet lined with parchment paper, and I've got a, I think this is about a one and a half inch cookie scoop, and I am just going to dig in, grab some dough, and form it into a ball. just like this and place it on the cookie sheet. I'm gonna try to space these about an inch apart. Now I'm not gonna do all of these on camera because I know you guys probably would not want to see that. So I'm gonna finish these up off camera and then I am going to place them in my preheated oven. It's Again, it's preheated at 350 degrees. I'm gonna bake these for about 10 to 12 minutes or until they're golden brown, and then I'll bring them out and show you what they look like. So here are the cookies out of the oven. I did two trays. So on this first tray are the ones that I showed on camera that I rolled into a ball. And on the second tray are ones that I roll into a ball and then I flattened with the palm of my hand. So I ended up baking these both for about 15 minutes each and they have been cooling on the cookie sheet. As you can see, we have already eaten a bunch of the cookies and they are really tasty. So I am going to have my husband break open the cookie so that you can see the texture on the inside. So we're gonna start off with the ones in the ball right here. He's gonna grab one. So his preference is for a softer cookie and he really liked these a lot. You can, we open it back up. You can see the apple pieces and the caramel in there. And you really like these. Yes, I really like the cookie, very good. Yeah, really good. And then this one is the one that I flattened out. This is my preference because I prefer a firmer cookie, but you can still see all of the apple and all of the caramel. The flavor of the cookie is really good. You can definitely taste the apple and the caramel in there. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.